Hi, Chris Hi, Petrie. <laughs> Hi. So, Chris, you're another professional arts therapist. I am. Yeah. You're working in regional Victoria. That's right. I'm um, down at the Bass Coast, down near Phillip Island. Terrific. And who are the people that you work with? I work mainly with uh, people with disability. Yeah. Um, I concentrate on long-term creative projects, uh -huh. um, bringing out their internal artists. Uh -huh. Um, and creating bodies of work, really, uh, for either exhibition or perhaps sale, um, something to build on their self-esteem and um, increase their creative output. Wow. And, and do you see that self-esteem developing while you're working oh, with people? Yeah. Um, once people start to use creativity as a means of expression, uh, the flow on effect is incredible um, and flow is actually an interesting word and that's a space that I find a lot of clients get into when they're working. It's that time when time disappears, when you're just so immersed in being creative. Uh, it's a, a very interesting place to observe people mm -hmm. being in. It's a very calming, relaxing state mm -hmm. and quite often people don't understand where the time's gone during a session. So really, have we finished? You know, where did that time go? It's, it's a beautiful place to be. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that the, the calming um, nature and that being in that flow state that sounds very uh, akin with mindfulness. Very much. And I think it also flows on into other aspects of their lives. I often get feedback from family and friends stating that when when a client has been creative with me, it also flows through into their, their daily life and they can see a difference uh, in the way that those people then react. Uh, and I suppose that's a flow on effect, a positive flow on effect um, for the other people that they interact with. Mm -hmm. So in that way, it's, it, um, it's helpful in terms of their relationships with their broader network of friends and family too. Definitely, yeah. Well, that's what I'm hearing. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so Chris, you're in the well, an interesting position in that you used to be an art teacher and now you're an art therapist. So you've that's worked right. in schools. Yeah. Yeah. So can you just really briefly describe um, how your work is different from when you were an art teacher to now that you're an art therapist? Yeah, so in a teaching space, it's very structured. Um, you might be in a class with 30 students and it's very difficult to have an individual um, person. Uh, it's, it, you can't just give time over to individuals like you can with therapy. So it's a much, much more personalised approach. Uh, teaching had a timetable, very uh, structured way of forming lessons. Every week may be a different modality um, and it really wasn't structured to boost creativity but more to just spend time on individual projects. However, working in a therapy space, it's a lot more about the individual and more comes through than just the creative process. There's a lot more about the mental process and the relationship with the therapist, the trust, the comfort, and the way that that relationship is built over time. Mm -hmm. So to come once a week to an art class for an hour as a student is a lot different than coming to a therapist and having that very personal approach to really delving into what it is it's like to be living your life. And you can do that through the creative process. Um, the, advantages of being able to work in multi-modalities mm -hmm. is um, critical to people's individuality. I have people who write poetry. I've got people who paint, um, people who want to illustrate children's books. It's, it's marvellous what individuals want to do and how that creative process aids them in their mental health. Mm. Yeah, I've heard... Um 
in my conversations with lots of art therapists that just the personalised approach and how adaptable art therapy can be to an individual is is an enormous strength in art therapy. Yeah, it, it's very powerful. Um, I, I know I've heard that word used a lot, particularly through my studies, mm -hmm. but you start to realise it, it, it really is. Um, mm -hmm the word interesting always comes up. So it's a very interesting way of engaging with individuals. Mm. Um, I think particularly with adolescents in that it's a lot easier to communicate through a creative means mm. than through verbal or other non-creative forms. It's, it's less intimidating. And a lot of times people find it hard to verbalise what it is that they need to discuss. But when they can use art forms, it opens up a whole new avenue of communication. Mm. And to me, um, summarising, you know, some of what you've said, it sounds as though that uh, the adaptability of art therapy really facilitates real choices for people and also has the capacity uh, for people to communicate in ways that are very safe as well. And very personal. Very personal. Mm. And I think that is actually a big difference between sitting in a classroom full of students mm. and having that one-on-one -on -one capability or even in a small group. Um, but it is, it is a very personal mm. approach mm. to very personal topics. Mm. For sure. So uh, finally, Chris, what's so important about the campaign that we're running at the moment to try and get art therapists working in schools with young people as mental health practitioners? And I think the process of art making in therapy is so beneficial. Um, kids can be very hesitant to talk, it's great to have a position in a school where you can talk to children uh, um, with regards to their mental health, but to have that availability of creativity to, to be mixed in with that is a great benefit. It's, um, it's encouraging, it's inviting, uh, it's inclusive without the intimidation of just trying to verbalise or or in, in some cases not verbalise, um, it's, a, it's a transitional process where you know, people can communicate by other means. It's all right. So thank you very much for talking with us today, Chris. My pleasure. Yeah, it's really wonderful to have your perspectives and hear your experience as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.